Lindy Wekwele, CEO of Johannesburg Tourism Company. Thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News. What are your predictions for travel and tourism trends in Johannesburg over the next few years? I think the future is looking bright for Joburg, especially after hosting a spectacular World Cup. Uh, the world knows more about us and also I think we've been able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that we are a city capable of, ma of hosting events of magnitude, but at the same time uh, myths and stereotypes have been dispelled about who we are as a destination. So as I speak right now, we've, oh, we've secured more than 50,000 delegates between now and 2015. Obviously for us it's about leveraging off business tourism to increase the leisure tourism. One of our key uh, uh, objectives is to ensure that we retain our leading role in terms of the international arrivals but at the same time we want to really ensure that we grow our domestic tourism base because at the moment we're standing at number two. We want to be leader on both domestic and international arrivals perspective because we really believe that we have what it takes and we want to encourage all the visitors to stay longer and spend more in Joburg. Can you tell our viewers about your latest marketing campaign and how this will impact on tourism? Obviously our campaign is incorporating the essence of what makes Jobbik a very exciting and a pulsating and energizing city. We're talking about work and play and Jobbik rock, rocks and again it's about elevating the lifestyle element in our cosmopolitan nature. So it really is about a combination of bringing both lifestyle, business, pleasure and again it really is about um, capitalizing on all our key strengths and key assets because we are the most cosmopolitan, we are the, a young, vibrant, dynamic city, but also our shopping expertise, you know, we are Africa's shopping mecca. So our campaign really is about looking at our, positioning our city as an all-year-round destination, introducing seasonality campaigns whereby we are trying to reduce seasonality person and also ensuring that we use events, sport and business tourism as the key driver for tourism growth in Joburg. And has last year's uh, infrastructure and development from the World Cup helped increase tourism? Absolutely. We're beginning to see the numbers growing now and I think the hosting of Miss World as well as the World Cup has really helped us tremendously. But now also because we are part of the BRICS nation, we're seeing more an increase from the Chinese market and the Indian market. As I speak last year, we've seen a growth in our incentive packages, you know, as, as a destination. So we really are seeing a growth path um, going up, you know, an upward growth in terms of the tourism numbers for Joburg. So we really are excited and obviously the legacy is about the infrastructural development and integrated public transport network with how train not only coming from Marlboro, OR Tambo and Sentin, but we are now seeing a link to Rosebank, to Parktown, Midrand and Pretoria, which is good for tourism because people can be able to hop on and off, linking into the bus rapid transit system. So we believe that now we can claim that we are on par with any other major city around the world. So we're very excited about the development. You're also a World Travel Awards winner. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's actually, it, it keeps me on my toes because I need to be always upping my game at all times and again it's about learning more and also reading more in terms of the new development, the new trends around the world, but also being a relevant player in the tourism industry and also contribute tremendously to make South Africa what it is today. So it is a humbling experience for me. It is an honor and over and above the 2009 award, last year JTC, our company was recognized by PMR Africa. We got the Diamond Arrow Award, recognizing the kind of work that the company is doing. Obviously behind every successful leader, there is a team that is working, that is so dedicated, working with sheer diligence and brilliance. So it's quite humbling, it's exciting, but it also makes us to strive for greatness all the time. And lastly, we're here at Indaba. What do you hope to achieve from this year's show? Uh, at this year's Indaba, we're trying to create a balance between uh, sustainable growth, responsible tourism, and also showcasing the new experiences that Jobek has got to offer. We need to innovate, we need to evolve with all the developments around the world. Now we are showcasing all other things that other people didn't know existed in Joburg in terms of the helicopter tours, you know, the bungee jumping, uh, skywalk, and all those and eco tours because we are the only man made forests around the world with more than 10 million trees. Um, and again, we need to ex elevate and also leverage.
national sustainability program within the city. So it's very exciting, but also we'll be recognizing uh, emerging operators within Joburg that have, made, that have contributed in making Joburg a special city like it is today. So it's going to be very exciting for us. And again, we're showcasing some of the key signature events, as I've indicated earlier on, that eventing are uh, the one of the key drivers for our tourism growth. So we'll be highlighting the San Suiza Summer Cup, which takes place in November, the Polo, uh, the Joy of Jazz in August, as well as Art Life, which takes place during the September and the Heritage Month. So the future is really looking good. But more importantly, we've just ho successfully hosted South Africa, the AFI Fashion Week. Uh, and the finale was at Mandela Square, but now we are going to be hosting Africa Fashion Week. It really is about uh, reinforcing Jobex positioning of being Africa premier uh, fashion maker, and we'll be seeing all the African best designers converging in Jobex to showcase their stuff. It all sounds very exciting. Good luck, and thank you for talking to Breaking Travel thank News. You. Thank you so much. For